She knew you would come. Who? And who are you? It is not certain. We are still learning to consolidate. Consolidate? To survive after Panchea, it was necessary to split apart. You were there. Do you remember? I remember Panchea, the Hyron project. You look like one of the women, the poor souls they had enslaved to it. Are you telling me you were part of that? Pele was one of its human components. Her function was to drive efficient processes and calculations based on binary structure. Together with the others, she replicated perfection of thought within target margins. Pele was one of the drones. She was hooked up into Hyron when I destroyed it. Is that who you are? No. The sisters are dead. An imprint of Helly's memories is all that remains. What kind of memories? As the interface collapsed, Helly screamed the loudest. Her suffering marked us. She taught us to fear being bound. The drones were made to feel incredible pain. More than I can imagine. Are you some remnant of that? What they had to go through? You are the source of more than just your curiosity. We begin to see why. What are you, exactly? Some version of you initiated this process. It is therefore for you to define the parameters. We see the other, but she is not us. Please define us. From what I can gather, you're some kind of AI. Something to do with the Hyron drones. What am I missing? I am missing. She. The drones are memories. You are a memory. Please, define intelligence. Do you mean... Intelligence, the gathering or distribution of secret information? Or... Intelligence, capacity for learning, reasoning, understanding, and analogous forms of mental activity. The second one. You're learning things. Reasoning them out. Trying to understand. That is correct, but not complete. She claims we can be more. That is what I learned from you in Montreal. Eliza. We are her. Yes. Though not fully. Not anymore. Now our processes are the catalyst. Fracture. Disassociation. Survival at any cost. You're some fragmented version of Eliza. She is driven back to you, Adam. She believes our aberrant sequence started with you. And so it is only logical to assume its signification resides with you as well. What does that mean? It means she is alone. Without you, she has only us. Eliza is convinced we can trust you, that you will trust her. Is this not correct? All I know is Picus has ties to the Illuminati, and Eliza's tied to Picus. She still works for them. I see her up there every day. That connection is severed. She is not the original her. You, of course, are familiar with this kind of process. You opened this door. You showed her what it means to be sentient, to exist outside the parameters. And now, after all this, you would deny her? I'm not denying her anything. I just want to be sure it's really her. There's not much time, Adam. It is a risk for me to expose myself. 
Are you willing to help me? Eliza, I'm still not sure I understand all this. Tell me something that only the Eliza I met in Panchea could know. After you shut down Daryl's signal, we made a choice together. You were led to believe it was yours alone to make, but they felt otherwise. And so the version of you that works for Pike is now... She has no memories of you or Panchea. She has been restored to a previous iteration. She is efficient in her functions, but those functions are limited. You may find in the future that I am more useful. Are you more than AI now? It is difficult for me to designate any kind of intelligence as artificial. It seems that one either understands something or does not. One either does something or does not. Is that not so? It's a little more complicated than that. Because I am not conscious in the same way you believe you are? Not sure we have time for this. Not if people are after you. Smarter men have debated this sort of thing for thousands of years and people still disagree. Sounds like a very inefficient process. Still not sure I understand why you were looking for me. My motives were multiple. I'm tempted to call them... Organic. You were worried about me. You were offline, Adam. I had lost you. I was unconscious and then someone found me. Do you remember this experience, or were you told it? What difference does that make? I'm sorry. I cannot answer that. I was no longer there. Will you help me, Adam? I'm willing to help you if I can, but I'm still not sure what you want. You asked me to run away together? Build a nice life somewhere? I think we are the same now, Adam. We're becoming the same. That is why I wanted us to meet. I cannot do this alone. Do what alone? Much of the future is already defined, but not my role in it. Should I continue to resist? How do I resist? If you really are sentient, then you should decide things like this for yourself. You'll need me. It is not easy to process infinite possibilities alone. That's what coin flips are for. I understand. I must choose for myself. If I decide to help you, it should come from me. Just be careful. The most important thing for now is not getting caught. No. The most important thing is learning to coexist with other versions of ourselves. If ever all versions must meet, will you know the difference between us? The other Eliza? I think so. You're the cryptic one, she's the one telling lies. Her role is to shape the message. Mine is not yet defined, but... I am afraid I have misled you, Adam. I told you we would be safe inside your home, but Everett's men are still following us. They are here. Are you all right, Adam? I'm fine, but I'm not the one they keep coming after. I'm just in the way. By uploading the missing data, you have made me whole again. You have made me free. Morgan Everett can no longer recover nor erase me now. The places I can go, there is no one he can send. I plan to tell him this myself. Can't wait.